Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Johnny K. And today we have yet another product review. So, we're just going to dive right in. We are on eBay today. And the product, the EAG Replacement Grill for... 2014 to 2021 Toyota Tundra. Yes, this is currently installed on my 2017 Crew Max. Uh, no, I am not being compensated by EAG, nor do I have any type of affiliation with EAG or eBay in any way, shape, or form. If and when that does change, I will be sure to let everybody know. All right, so let's get back into it here. The price point, $219.99. Uh, it seems fair. When you actually think about what you're getting in its totality, so you're getting the grill and you're also getting three LED lights plus the wiring harness, it, it's a fair price. At least in my opinion, it is a fair price. So. We're going to blow up some photos here so you get a view of the grill from the front driver's side. I don't want to look at that crap. Uh, you get a view here of the three LEDs and you've got your wiring harness here. Um, I just want to get this out of the way. Uh, in, this in this display photo, um, it does have the EAG badge on the grill here. When I purchased mine, and when I received it, I did not, uh, or mine did not have the EAG badge. Um, honestly, I didn't really care about it. Um, this was one of the last things I thought about when purchasing this product. So mine did not have that on here. So um, if you decide to purchase this and upon receiving, you realize you don't have this badge here, you're not the only one. I also did not receive the badge either. Okay, so moving on here. Uh, another view from the driver's side front. Got a view from the front here with the amber lights going. Um, also notice that the hood bulge on this display photo is chrome. Uh, I want to make it very clear, and I think they want to make it very clear, uh, this uh, purchase is only including the grill and does not include the hood bulge. So, just so everyone's aware. All right, what do they have to say about this? High brightness, upgraded, upgraded these. Wow, hold on. Upgraded these waterproof LED front grill lights. So, I don't know. There might be a breakdown in the English language here, or I'm not reading it right. I don't know. Your vehicle is easier to be seen in rainy, snowy, or foggy weather. The amber yellow lights may make other drivers pay attention to your truck. All right, so um, in comparison, uh, I think the Raptor lights would be a fair comparison, um, you know, with these. Uh, but in order to properly utilize the Raptor lights need to have a specific style of grill for a Tundra. Um, with mine, uh, the, for the 2017, the factory grill did not have those, uh, those slots where you can properly utilize the Raptor lights, so I decided just to upgrade the entire thing. All right, um, this is paintable, which is good news for those of you who want to do a paint match to your truck and this is uh, kind of an idea of what it could look like another view there and then this is I guess a compare contrast of you know their product versus uh, a competitor's product um, I will go ahead and say this uh, when it comes to these LED lights, there are some people who are not electronically savvy, which is totally okay. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of doing electronics either or doing any type of wiring. 
Um, I can do it. I have the ability to do it. I don't know. I just get anxiety about doing it. And uh, if you've seen my previous videos, you will know that, yes, I have uh, been able to um, install all types of wiring on my vehicle. Um, but in the event that you just want the look of the grill, you have no desire to utilize the amber lights. Um, they are easily re removable from what I understand. I mean, I haven't done it myself, but I'd assume that they're easily removable. And then you can just go around with a uh, with an aftermarket matte black grill. Call it good there. So, then another view from the front driver's side as well. So, that's all the photos they have here. So, we will continue to scroll down. This is all just other parts that may be of interest if you're looking. And then you have this very, 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 very long list of compatible vehicles or compatible Tundras, I will say. All right, let's get into the, I guess, biggest concern with this, depending on the model of Tundra that you have. I believe 2018 or newer, so up to 2021, if your vehicle has, or if your Tundra has that Toyota Safety Sense with that emblem in the front, um, I don't think this grill is going to work out for you because that radar sensor is right in here and you just would not be able to utilize that. So I would advise that if you have the Toyota Safety Sense, um, definitely look into a different option. I know that you can get the aftermarket uh, TRD Pro style grill um, that has the radar sensor in the front that you can just, uh, it's essentially a plug and play. And then from there, just go with the Raptor lights that individually go into the slots of the TRD Pro grill. Um, that's what I'd recommend. It's probably, well not probably, it'll definitely cost you more money. I do know the TRD Pro grill, just the grill itself, especially with that safety sense sensor, is considerably more expensive than this. But you know, again, if you want it to, if you want it to be done, it can be done. Okay. So I just wanted that to be clear. If you have a vehicle with the safety sense, the challenge that uh, you might have. Okay. So moving on down here, so a closer or a close up photo of the. Uh, amber LEDs so these three deals here plug into these three connectors here and then there are you have your can't really see it in the picture here but you have your black and red wires here as well that will connect to your power source okay so we'll go ahead and get into a little bit of the specifications at least from what this specific dealer has has stated um, so I want to make it very, very clear. Um, this is the, the individual who is selling this product. Uh, you can find this EAG grill that others are selling. You don't need to necessarily purchase it from eBay. Um, that's just, I just want to give my perspective on how I purchased it. And I made this purchase from eBay. This was the exact price that I purchased it at, you know, just so we can be you know, just so we can all be on the same page on how I obtained it, okay? But, you know, there are different ways that you can purchase the EAG, uh, yeah, the EAG grill. Um, all you gotta do is just do some shopping around, okay? So, let's get into some of the specifications as stated. Um, Off-road compatibility, EAG patented front grill fits 2014 to 2021 Toyota Tundra, made from ABS plastic with custom designed LED lights, uh, matte black finish on the grill. It can be repainted to match your vehicle. It has a custom designed grill that will elevate the appearance of any truck to the newest fashion trend. Three high quality custom designed amber LED lights. The harness is included. So. Um, not a whole lot of specifications, but there doesn't really need to be. Um, it's a uh, fairly simple concept. Again, it's a it's one it's a one piece design uh, plus a wiring harness, and then that's that's pretty much it. Okay, um, and I want to say when I made my purchase, 
I didn't have a whole lot of reviews to go off of, if any at all. So I pretty much uh, took a shot in the dark on it. Um, so that being said, uh, up to this point, um, I have had this on my truck for, uh, let's see, nine months. I want to say I had it installed in January. If I'm not mistaken. I know it's been a it's been quite some time. So it's been, you know, if we're rounding up approximately a year. Okay, I might have even installed this around uh, the holiday season last year. I'm not 100% sure. Um but I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Um there was one thing that I ran into with installation that I don't necessarily look at as a problem, but it is something that I want to share with everybody just so they're aware that I did run into this as a quote unquote potential issue as it were. Um, so I think that will conclude part one. Uh, as usual in all of our videos, we will um, go out to the truck now to commence part two and we will see exactly how this thing looks. All right, so stay with us and we'll be right back. All right, so this is gonna be part two of the review and impressions of the EAG aftermarket grill for my 2017 Tundra. Um, yeah, the grill guard is, you know, a little bit in the way here, but you know, the, the quality will be good enough just to give you an idea, okay? But this is it when it's installed. All right. So what we'll do is go ahead and get into the truck. We'll flip the light on so we can see how she looks when they're turned on. And there we go definitely way better and way easier to see at night okay but there it is and then as you can see here these two holes here is where the uh, that badge would go that EAG badge but didn't have one didn't get one as of now don't really care cool let's close or not close but turn that off and then we are going to pop the hood so I can show you how I went about the wiring. All right, so as you can see here, what's the best angle here? Here we go. So you have your, all right, you got your connectors here. So it comes with three. There is one there, one right here. And then the other one is right there. So you got two, three. And then the rest of the harness I routed over here. Okay, behind this little ordeal here. And then we brought her down behind the battery. And then when she was brought up, it is over here. We'll undo this really quick. I know, I'm not the best at doing this with one hand. And I get that, and I apologize. Come on, baby. Work with me here. There we go. So, it is wired to this slot here. I made sure that I have my orientations on this panel identical to the way I have the switch mounted in the truck. And so you have your positive and negative here. That's how the dealio is wired. Okay, so. Next, we'll just kind of go over the installation here. So you have your four areas here. So these, uh, so these deals that you take out of the factory grill, you're gonna reuse those, okay? And then on, two, on the ends here, so there's a hole here, 
And then there's a hole right here, as you can see. Um, the plastic fasteners are supposed to fit in there. Um, as you can see, it's kind of, kind of doesn't line up right. All right, you can see right there. So putting the fasteners in there is just, I mean, it's probably possible if you find the right fastener, but when I had the screws, you know, when I put these back in and I tried to move this thing around, I realized, uh, it's not going anywhere. So I took that as these aren't necessary. And that's the only thing I ran into or the only potential, like I said, issue, but I don't think it's an issue. So yeah, seems simple enough, right? And, uh, like I said, no issues with it so far. It's working great. All the lights are working fine. All good. So we're gonna close this up. Well, let me double check my little box here. Yep, that's all good. Close her up. There we go. Cool. All right. I think it's gonna wrap this one up. So, again, if you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. There are multiple ways that you can contribute if you would like more content. I use Buy Me A Coffee. I use, well, I also have an Etsy shop. And then I also am starting a, a pro football podcast channel as well. Um, Johnny K Pigskin is the name of that channel. I will put the links to all of those in the description of this video. And then they will also be in the about me section of this channel as well all right so again everybody thank you again um and then plenty more to come take it easy guys and gals